Well, my brother, my friend that is watching us through these videos, we would like to ask you that please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can continue to receive all of our videos. We thank you for your audience and we hope that this is a blessing and a help to your soul. We talked in, on our last videos about the book of Revelations that has been preached and revealed by Brother Branham. And I'd like to, in this moment, reveal the first chapter of the book of Revelation. We saw that Revelation is a book of Revelation. And those revelations are prophecies and that those revelations were given to John in the island of Patmos when he was there as a prisoner, brought 48 kilometers inside the Aegean Sea. He was absent of his church, of his friends and family, and to him was given this series of visions. And we saw that those visions were produced through an angel. God sent an angel to guide John in a trip, in a visionary trip, that would be shown to him the things that would happen. In a time, the fullness of the Gentiles, and it should happen, when the fullness of the Gentiles ended and the rapture happened, those things should happen after the rapture. The great tribulation, the establishment of the millennium, then the release of Satan, the final judgment, and lastly, everybody taking their own destiny, following their own destiny. The devil and his followers entering the lake of fire, and then the bride and the groom entering eternity. So those things we saw that were shown to John, and those things are in course right now. We saw after that John identifies himself as a brother in tribulation, but also an heir of the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. We saw that John was raptured in spirit and that the day of the Lord wasn't about a Saturday or a Sunday, but it was the fulfillment of Jesus' word. If I want him to live until I come back, what concern is that of yours? And there he was to see the day of the coming of the Lord. He was taken to see the day of the coming of the Lord. That is the day that lies all God's promises to the ones that are ready to this event. So we already shared those informations with you. After that, we saw that when John was raised and he saw the day of the Lord, he saw seven candlesticks and he saw that was one was similar to the Son of Man walking among those seven candlesticks of gold and having on his hand seven stars. And we looked here and we know perfectly that this angel that was guiding John wasn't a celestial angel, he was a man, a prophet. We saw that in the scriptures. We already heard from the mouth of the prophet William Branham that we don't know which of the prophet was. So don't accept any interpretation saying that was A or B because the prophet Branham said to us and taught us that we only say what he has taught us. So we saw that the deity of Jesus is shown right there. He with his white hair representing his maturity to the judgment, his eyes as flames and the, the, the sword coming out of his mouth and his feet to step on the false prophet and the beast. 
So we looked at those things that were in the first chapter. Then, on the last verse of the first chapter, the book of Revelations, we saw that the ministry of the seven stars were seven angels. And the ministry of the seven candlesticks were seven churches. Seven angels will be seven men, seven messengers. We saw as well that the word angel, Malek in the Hebrew language, means coming and going back. The one who comes with the message and returns with the message. That's why a messenger is called an angel because he comes to the presence of God and receives from God and comes and brings to the people his message. He is a servant to the ones who will inherit the eternal life. Here on chapter 2, in the first verse, to the angel of the church in Ephesus, Write the following. This is the solemn pronouncement of the one who has a firm grasp of the seven stars on his right hand, the one who walks among the seven golden lampstands. Well, if he had seven churches that were nominated in the first chapters from Ephesus to Laodicea, those seven churches were chosen. I know that you know what chosen means, but when I talk about choosing, I give a simple explanation. When you go to a, a market and you have a, a stand of tomatoes and you have green tomatoes, and this one is soft and this one is not soft, but you choose the ones that you're going to bring home. So there were many churches, the Church of Galatia, of Corinthians, of Jerusalem, the one on Spain. You have many churches, but the Spirit chose the seven churches of Asia. That's why those churches feel the purpose of God to the world happenings that the church would have to endure during their trajectory ever since the beginning on Pentecost until the day that the church is taken to the glory. Those churches were chosen because they had those characteristics. And when we find that there is seven churches, there is also seven angels. And those angels are messengers, the ones who should bring and receive from God and bring to the people God's advice, God's alert, God's message, so that the people could prepare Paul, without a doubt, is the angel destined to the first age of the churches that has a duration from the year 53 to the year 170. Paul is here the, the established model for all the messenger of the following ages which means that in Paul, God put the pattern so that everybody could base themselves to the path of eternity. And Paul was so certain that he said, if anyone considers himself as a prophet or spiritual, recognize that the things that are worth to you are commandments of the Lord. In the same way that the Lord sent Ten Commandments to Moses, He came to Paul and sent him commandments through the Holy Spirit. And then 
Paul established the, the, the commands for the following churches. In our, in our next video, we're going to enter into the second chapter of Revelation. May God help you and bless you.